I've just, I've got a bad cold, Ryan. You sound good. Are you, are you feeling better? Going a little crazy in this place. Yeah, well, just don't act out on any more of those crazy ideas. We don't want a repeat of what happened last night. Mm, it's just a minor setback. Not so minor. It scared the hell out of me. I left the hospital because of you. I told you last night. I'm fine. No, Greenlee, you're not fine, but you won't tell me why. You need to worry about yourself right now. Greenly. I'm not going to talk about David to you, okay? This is my life, and I've got it under control, and you need to start focusing on your life now. The neurosurgeon was in here for like an hour. He said all my tests look just fine. Yeah, well, you're lucky. If you don't watch yourself. Takes my head nearly exploding to find out that you even care, huh? Of course I care. Well, I care too about you, which is why I want to know what David is doing to you. Just stop stressing about this, okay? Just forget about it. David is my husband. He's a bastard, and I think you finally know that, Greenlee. Greenlee? I just hate lying in bed. It's just, it's just too damn boring for me, that's all. I could bring in some food or something. That chicken they served you yesterday looked like it died of old age. Yeah, right? I mean, this whole hospital's gone to hell since Hayward took over. <laughs> Hayward, we were just talking about you. Oh, lucky me. We were saying how this hospital could really use a new chef, preferably one that wasn't trained in prison. I'll be sure to pass on your complaint to the board. We're always interested in our patient's comfort and well-being. Mm. Well, Ryan wants to check out early. Well, that doesn't sound like a good idea. Any particular reason you want me to stick around, Hayward? Well, apart from not wanting you to die, I'm very touched. We certainly don't need the lawsuits. What do you think, Greenlee? I agree with David. And uh, we better get going. There's some things I want to go over before our meeting. Good idea. Don't know what I'd do without her. How does he do it? Being a creep just comes naturally to him, I guess. There's definitely something going on. David, there's always something going on. But I'm more worried about you. You look tired. Yeah, you know, I'm maybe a little bit tired. Well, can I get you some water or something? <clears throat> I could use a scotch. <laughs> or a juice. I'm kidding. A juice, please. You know, I would a little sugar in the system would be great. Okay. Thank you. I'll be right back. Okay, thank you. Hey, Alice, will you do me a favor? Just a little one. Will you page Dr. Hayward and kind of keep him busy for a few minutes? Only if you promise not to break out of here again. Who, me? You look like you could use a friend. I don't get it. What? I don't get why you act all Stepford whenever Hayward is around. And I don't get why you're not taking your condition more seriously. I'm assuming you're the one who got David paged away? Yes, I am. Because you were about to tell me something last night. Something more than marriages are difficult. Well, they are. They all have their ups and downs. I know, and you're keeping something from me, Greenlee. David will be back here any minute. And Madison will be calling the FBI or the CIA if you're not in your room, so just... Concentrate on getting better. While you're concentrating on what? Why does it matter to you? After everything that happened when I came home, why are you still trying to take care of me? I don't know, Greenlee. I guess something went kablooey in my brain. Please, Ryan, just let it go. I need to talk to you. Can, can, can we do this another time, please? No, we should do it now. I'm trying to talk some sense into your friend here. Frankie, you know how dangerous Hayward is. I can't let go. just stop. I had a conversation with your neurosurgeon. What's wrong? Well, nothing yet, but it could turn to something pretty serious if he doesn't stop messing around. You need bed rest, man. And I'll get some, okay? Just as soon as... As, as soon as might be too late. If you get another rupture, 
you could wind up with serious brain damage or worse. Did you hear that? I heard it. And I will. I'll get some bed rest. I just, I just as soon as Greenlee... As soon as I what, Brian? I am sick of you playing hero. I don't need help. I don't want your help. And you can't just assume that every time that David and I have an argument that it's the end of our marriage. Come on. I'll walk you back. David loves me. When are you going to get that through your thick, damaged skull? As soon as you start being honest with me. David loves me and I love him. Okay? Just leave us alone. It appears you've lost control of your patient, Dr. Hubbard. We were just headed back to his room now. Good. My wife has made her feelings pretty clear. Do I have to get a restraining order to keep you from bothering her? David. No, it's okay. It's just he can't seem to listen. No, I'm listening. I, I hear what she's saying. I just don't believe any of it. That's all. Well, you're delusional, then. People change, and they move on. You need to accept that. Seems like pretty good advice to me. You can stay out of this. Thank you, Frank. You should listen to no, him. No, you know, it's all good advice, Ryan. Now, we don't want our patient's condition to deteriorate, do we? Especially, I'm sure your surgeon has explained all the risks. Ryan, please. And then you have to ask yourself, is it really worth my life to get so worked up? Especially when it has nothing to do with you. None of your damn business. You don't give a damn about my life. You know something? You're absolutely right. But I do care about Greenlee's. And you're harming her. You're upsetting her. Oh, really? Is that what's happening, Greenlee? Am I upsetting you? Yes. We're not going to have this fight anymore, Ryan. You take care of your life, and I'll take care of mine. David is right. Our relationship is none of your business. Uh, everything okay? Yeah, everything's, um, everything's okay with me. We were just headed back, weren't we? Yeah. Good, I'll walk back with you. But our meeting is about to start. All right, sweetheart. Try to take care. Ryan, you know, stay calm. Might make your life longer. The meeting went perfectly. My wife and I couldn't be more pleased. Mm-hmm. Great. What are you doing here? You need to tell me something, Greenlee. Don't, don't even argue it, okay? Because I know you and I can see the look in your eye. It's the same look that you used to have when you were planning a surprise a day. Just trust me. Whatever it is, just, just, just let it out. David's forcing me to stay married to him. If I don't, he'll have me arrested for taking down Erica's plane, which I didn't do. I swear. You will not get arrested, Greenlee. I will not let that happen. I, I, I will not let that happen. You can't. Do you, do you believe in me? Do you believe... Let me hear you say you believe in me. I believe in you. Oh! Thanks for putting Ryan in his place earlier. Things are going to get easier. I promise. For long, this little hump in the road will be like it never happened. I hate losing things. Me too.